Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be making an easy yet delicious chicken salad recipe. I'm excited for you to try it. So how about we get started? The ingredients you will need are boneless skinless chicken breast, real mayonnaise, and you could use any brand you'd like, Miracle Whip, and it's important that you have both of those ingredients. Grapes, salt, pepper, garlic, a little sugar, and walnuts or any nuts you would like, and butter. We're gonna start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. Then you're gonna use a baking sheet. I like to line mine with foil. And go ahead and place your chicken breast on the baking sheet. Now for this recipe, you're gonna wanna make sure to bake your chicken as we want to retain the flavors of the butter, the salt, and the garlic. And now you're going to season each piece of chicken with salt, pepper, and garlic. And you could be as generous as you like with these seasonings. And then you will place a pat of butter on each piece. Now it's ready for the oven. Since my chicken pieces were rather thin, I only had to bake them for 10 minutes on each side. So depending on the size of your chicken breast, you may have to cook them a little longer. Now while the chicken is baking, let's go ahead and cut our walnuts and our grape pieces. Now you could cut those as you prefer. For this recipe using two pounds of chicken, I cut about a half a cup of walnut and about a cup of the grapes. Now once the chicken is ready, you're gonna wanna remove it and put it in a container. And you could actually put it in your refrigerator for later, or just set it aside until it cools down fully. Once the chicken is cool, you'll want to cut it into small cubes. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our real mayonnaise and you're gonna add one cup. 
Now, of course, if you don't like this much, you can reduce the amount. Go ahead and grab your Miracle Whip, and I added half a cup. Then I added one teaspoon of the sugar. Now you'll mix it together, and then you're gonna wanna give it a try, as you may wanna add more sugar or more garlic and salt. I added about a half a teaspoon of garlic. Now you'll go ahead and add your grapes and gently stir this, and then your walnuts. I added about a cup of grapes and a half a cup of walnuts. Now it's ready to go. You could add it to a croissant roll, a Hawaiian roll, or even top a salad with it. Whichever way you decide to eat it, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks for joining me today. Until next time, bye.